weekend where the team obviously had very high hopes bringing the upgrades they did. What's your feeling standing here right now about how the car's been working around? I don't think the team had high hopes. I think the media had high, <laughs> overhyped the, the upgrade package that we were bringing. We knew that in terms of when you look at it, it looks like a new car. But then we knew the numbers and the numbers were not a huge package. Uh, it were very small details everywhere uh, that we were expecting to help. And I think they did. But uh, when I looked at the track, I saw this track and I said this has always been a McLaren track and a Red Bull track. Ferrari seemed uh, in the past to struggle here and it's exactly what happened. As a matter of you bring an upgrade that is not a track suited for your car, it's always going to be a trickier one. So the, upgrade, the updates you've got, then the car you've got, where will it fare well? Sorry? Where will the car you have fare well? Where will it race well and qualify well? Um, we tend to race a bit better than we uh, qualified this year, so our hopes are that we can get uh, the car into a podium tomorrow and uh, we will try our best to do so. So no disappointments then at the update performance? I know the media and the people might be disappointed because they thought, oh, new car, new life, but I knew the numbers and uh, and the numbers of the new package were not uh, to, to suddenly go P1 like McLaren did in Miami or, or here. Our, our upgrade was smaller than what people think and I've tried to say that on the media actively all week and people didn't seem to buy it and expected us to, to kill everyone today and I was always convinced uh, the upgrade is smaller. I cannot tell you the numbers but uh, if I would tell you, you, you would be surprised. Thank you guys. Thank you.